For more information please visit SGMAC Associates website. Hi, in this presentation I'm going to discuss six factors that we use to solve majority of the economic analysis problems. Each factor estimates um, the parameter that appears in the numerator given the parameter that appears in the denominator or given interest rate and in length of time period. For example, the factor f over p i n estimates the future value of one dollar after n time periods where each period earns an interest rate of i. So following the same reasoning P over F I N, which is just the reciprocal, represents the present sum of money um, that will have a future value of one dollar after n time periods, where each period earns an interest rate I. So we have listed, as you can see, we have listed them in pairs: P over F I N, reciprocal of f over p i n a over p i n is known as a capital recovery factor as and it's, it's, it has a widespread use and is used to calculate the annuity to repay a loan a over f i n checks the future value converts into an annuity each factor on the right can be estimated as reciprocal of the factor on the on the left. For example, f over p i n, factor that converts present to future value, can be estimated as one over p over f i n. Continuing, um, this is a simple cash flow diagram. It shows and we are trying to convert trying to relate present value to future value. We have assumed a 1% interest rate per period and we have taken 360 time period. So the future value after one time period is principal plus interest on, which is P times one plus I. After two time periods, P times one plus I raised to the power two. So moving on, after n time period, the future value of a single sum P earning interest rate I per period is given by P times 1 plus I raised to the power n. If I put 1% interest rate, then small i becomes 1 over 100.01. And for 360 time period, n is 360. So we get a factor f over P as 35.95 implies that future value of one dollar invested now earning an interest rate of one percent per period will have a future value of almost 36 dollars this is a multiplying effect of 36 times at the end of 360 periods now the important thing is the time period could be day week or month or year the most important principle is the interest rate and the time period has to be compatible. So if you're using time period as month, the interest rate corresponds to per month. If the time period is year, it's interest rate earned per year. So interest rate and time period should be compatible. Uh, A over P I N is called the capital recovery factor. Because P, in the, you know, P is in the denominator, you can think about that's the loan you have taken or the bank has given you a loan. And this factor gives you the annuity payment the bank will ask you to pay to recover the capital. So that's why it is called capital recovery factor. It's used to convert your, how much is your monthly payment when you take a loan from a bank. The expression a simple mathematical equation we are converting annuity future annuity payments to a present value so each has a discounting factor 
one time period away this counting factor is 1 plus i so future value um, the future one time period away a quantity amount a has a future value a over 1 plus i and that's how the series is written if it is n time periods away the future value is a divided by 1 plus i raised to the power n so you have a series for p over a and i have shown a little bit of simple algebra how to manage a geometric series if you have a summation as a says 1 over 1 plus i plus 1 over 1 plus i squared all the way through 1 divided by 1 plus i raised to the power n it's a geometric series with the first term 1 over 1 plus i and common ratio um, of 1, 1 over 1 plus i so then here's a simple way to find out the summation um, we multiply the first term by 1 over 1 plus i and then subtract from the original series and that gives us a simple algebraic manipulation that gives us a factor for p over a as 1 plus i raised to the power n minus 1 divided by i times 1 plus i raised to the power n and i have shown the same thing by writing as a geometric series so you can you can refer to a book in algebra and find out uh, remember these factors you don't have to memorize but you can see how it how is derived they are converted into table that you use to solve the problem so moving on here's an example we have borrowed three hundred thousand dollars at four percent annual apr annual percentage rate and is compounded monthly and you are, you are planning to repay it in 30 year fixed rate plan it's a typical mortgage um, so this may be viewed as a typical loan for a $330 house and with a 10% down payment we have managed so remaining 90% so which is $300,000 um, that you are borrowing from the bank and your borrowing rate is 4 over 12% or one third percent per month so I is 4 divided by 12 multiplied by 1 over 100 percentage is converted into a, a fraction between 0 and 1 so the interest rate per month is point the factor is 0 0.0033 you want to make 360 payments so n is 360 so the factor capital recovery factor a over p at one third percent and 360 so the parameters needed to look up the table and that number is 0 0.00475 so this factor will come from a table you know you can from standard textbook the table is given we have also showed you the formula you know you can use it to compute so your monthly payment then 300,000 multiplied by the factor $1,425 so you'll be paying $1425 per month for the next 30 years to repay a loan of $300,000. The factor A over A or the reciprocal A over A and I have um, given a simple expression here. Um, the factor A over A is 1, 1 over I multiplied by 1 plus I raised to the power N minus 1 and reciprocal is 1 over that. And if there's also a simple relationship f over a can be generated by multiplying two factors f over p multiplied by p over a for more information please visit sgmat associates website for more information please visit sgmat associates website For more information please visit SGMAC Associates website.